National Tribal University and Head, Department of Hindi at Karnataka University, Tharwar and Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad before crossing over to IGNTU, Amar Kantak as the Vice Chancellor. As the Vice Chancellor, he has been working tirelessly for the development of the university. As a translator, he has received State Sahitya Academy Award and two national awards. May I now invite Professor T. V. Kattimani to share a few words with us. Tara, Johar, it's a tribal greetings. <coughs> Vice Chancellor, Professor Eminence Rao, Karnataka Central University, Gilburga. Professor Borlingaya, Vice Chancellor, Karnataka University, Hampi. <coughs> a tribal scholar, Professor Shuganga Ruma, Dean. Dr. Vikram Visaji, a poet. Dr. Nagra, Professor Nagraj, Raishrar, Professor Vasaraj Donur, a poet writer and uh, head of the Department of English, Professor Prakash, Prakash, scholars, my colleagues from IGNTU American Tech, professors, not teaching colleagues, scholars and students. <coughs> uh, greetings from the holy place Amarkantek. As you know all, Amarkantek is a origin place of uh, great river Narmada, another two rivers, Johula and Son. Our university is seven years old and uh, I am the second vice chancellor. <coughs> We have 2,500 students with us, mainly residing at campus. We have Department of Tribal Studies, as well as other departments who we are all working for uh, tribal literature, tribal tradition, tribal ethnomedicine, tribal culture, tribal languages. I would like to brief you all. Twelve crores of people from tribal community all over the India living. Never seriously thought of by English company or post-colonial Indian people never taken serious as tribal people, they are also people. Industrialists treating tribals as they should go out of the resources because the resources is not for tribal people. Government is uh, thinking that tribes, they are just encroachers of uh, natural resources. Linguists never thought of tribal languages. They will refer Gondi, which is spoken and written, a large number of, of from a large number of people and uh, in five states it is spoken, will be written in uh, uh, linguistics books as other tribal languages. The, the situation of my university as well as surrounding of my university, I came to know that tribals are very poor people, no doubt. But the people who are residing in tribal, myself to my university that everybody who is residing in tribal areas are tribes. It is not just simplification. I would like to invite you all to come visit Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, 
ओडिशा गुजरात नॉर्थ नॉर्थ गुजरात वेर सिक्सटी एट लैक्स ऑफ ट्राइब्स आर लिविंग विथ सिक्स ट्राइबल लैंग्वेजेस मेजर लैंग्वेजेस एज अलियर आई सेट वी हैव ट्राइबल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्राइबल स्टडीज वी हैव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्राइबल कंट्रस्टिव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ट्राइबल लैंग्वेजेस when professor adorno spoke to me about the seminar i readily agreed because even we can open our center at moon yes sky is not limit for us certainly gulbarga comes under our domain we just concluded 10 days world tribal conclave from 12th to 20th music tribal uh, dramas our unfortunately indian mainstream is tribal stream tribals are the mainstream uh, usually you know who knows english and who knows writing they will make their own, own stream and they will declare that it is our mainstream unfortunately <clears throat> i would like to brief the house that tribals are the mainstream because they have their own judiciary they have their own religion they have their own customs they have their own food system they have their own philosophy they have their own medicine system they have their own way of living with tigers they know how to treat elephant as part of their society but our myths our epics our literature declared these people as rakshasas as asuras it's bad or good i don't know i'm i'm t- i'm telling the facts which is already part of uh, the indian culture <clears throat> i requested the government of india to give us some grants for mapping of tribal languages i have made a presentation they have given us some 5 6 crores for this uh, work then now i requested the, the government of india i have a big scheme that tribal I- history should be written my colleagues from history department uh, professor alok is from history they said uh, one of uh, our colleagues said that no it should be rewritten i said rewritten will come when it is already written we have never thought of writing the travel history now we have to write i had a meeting with uh, ichr with their technical help how to go it i have just planned that uh, 30 we have 30 states and 30 committees will work on their travel culture of uh, mhrd may give us funds or uh, i will collect funds from mps of my area who are readily agreed to give me 10 crores for this project <clears throat> out of this by december we will publish first volume regarding 30 states uh, of tribal history once it is published i can see the result after one year definitely the world will seriously think about tribals yes tribals are not just voters tribals are not just the people who can uh, who, who can uh, send them from one place to another place <clears throat> in other countries in mining areas the mining companies governments will treat tribals as their 
partners. Some countries they have given us uh, given them 10 percent, 2 percent, 5 percent, 6 percent. In Switzerland they have claimed 16 percent. But unfortunately, government of India never thought of it. <clears throat> I was just included in the subcommittee of uh, tribes in uh, Niti Aayog. I have suggested that the same schemes which have been implemented since 100 years in other countries. Tribal should be treated as partners. They should not be given only jobs. They should be given all administrative support to come up. Unfortunately, we thought of, uh, we should give reservation to unfortunate people. Now I'm feeling it's not the proper way to deal with the unfortunate people. Indi indigenous people should be treated as part of uh, the stream, their culture, their music, their history, their tradition, their myth should be considered seriously, respectfully. <coughs> We know we have Ramayana by, written by Valmiki, we have Mahabharata written by Vyasa. But in all tribal languages, we have another type of Ramayana, another type of Mahabharata. I would like to draw your attention about uh, Mandara Ramayana written in Tulu. Mandara Mahabharata, which is written in Tulu. Dr. Kanji Patel is here, uh, who is from Gujarat, a great scholar of uh, tribal languages, tribal culture. Bhili Ramayana and Mihi, Bhili Bharata, their leaders are totally different from mainstream Ramayana and mainstream Mahabharata. <coughs> this is how we have to Treat the tribal history, tribal tradition, tribal folk. I, I, I would like to draw your uh, another attention just nearby to Gulburga. You might be knowing Sindhura Lakshmana, the name of Sindhura Lakshmana. When I was young, I was studying in Karnataka College uh, uh, in Karnataka University. The people used to say Sindhura Lakshmana was a dacoite. Now, I researched on Sindhura Lakshmana with the help of ICSSR. He is not a dacoit. He fought against Jamkhandi Sansthan as well as British. Jam Jamkhandi Sansthan declared he is a terrorist. As usually, English people, they have done their culture, religion. They declared he is against rich people. <coughs> Bedas of Halagali. The whole Halagali village was burnt by English people. Whole Halagali. Jadagabala, the two leaders, were burnt alive. Except folk literature, our historians of uh, Canada never written about uh, uh, the Jadagabala or Halagali Bedas or <clears throat> or Kumara Rama, anybody. It's very simple why they have neglected the tribal history, tribal historians, tribal kings, tribal freedom fighters. It's very clear the Indian mainstream never cared about tribals because tribal didn't know how to write, how, how to read how to talk. They have their own language, they have their own culture, they have their own way of uh, uh, life. In these uh, two days, I hope we will think about these traditions, oral traditions, traditions of uh, tribals. I request Professor Rao, Vice Chancellor, Central University Karnataka, I will be happy to have MOU with 
your university we can work for the tribal narratives tribal literature tribal oral history tribal oral tradition we can translate tribal oral tradition into hindi or english vice versa bhili bharat can be translated into kannada you know we know kitura rani channamma but you know there are so many ranis one shankar shah and uh, amit shah sangram shah were just blown by english people at jabalpur now we are naming our buildings our main roads our lakes in the name of these tribal heroes because you know somebody was telling me in the ec meeting a, a great scholar she was telling no no we should keep one park in the name of kabira kabir das i said ma'am we have 100 roads in the name of kabir kabir das 100 lakes in the name of kabir das 100 departments in the name of kabir das where is one building in the name of a tribal hero no i being a vice chancellor of a tribal university i must concentrate on tribal people my job as written in the constitution of my university yes guided by the honorable president i must work for the tribal history tribal people tribal tradition it's my limitation it's my limitation and maybe it's my uh, the specialization of my university dr basuraj i invited him to see my university for two days he was with me he has seen he has studied and i said we must go for it in a long way longer way uh because in karnataka in the middle history of uh, karnataka there are 70 tribal kings ruled karnataka 70 tribal kings ruled karnataka in the border of uh, karnataka as well as andhra pradesh surpur chitradurga मोड़काल मरू आने गुंदी दीज आर दी संस्थान ऑफ ट्राइब्स हू रूल्ड कर्नाटका विथ दीज फ्यू वर्ड्स आई एम थैंकफुल टू द अथॉरिटीज ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी टू थॉट ऑफ ट्राइबल यूनिवर्सिटी टू हैव ए जॉइंट वेंचर फॉर मी आई कैन वर्क विद हेल्प ऑफ अदर uh a day before yesterday i was uh, in uh, gujarat with uh, central university of gujarat we have a, I, i proposed a move in the ec that we should have a mou with uh, uh, gujarat central university afterwards i visited uh, i am uh, ahmedabad uh, to study the structure of uh, uh, buildings as well as the structure of maintaining the students facilities immediately the direct said uh, professor katimani we should have a a uh, long way to go we should have a mou i am happy to go with a mou with anybody any any central government state government uh, private international sector anything because any extension work definitely it will enrich the tribal people of this whole big country i welcome this mou from uh, central university of karnataka and uh, i extend my Uh, thanks to vice chancellor registrar professor nagraj uh, professor donur who is the uh, main person main mechanism mechanisms to go for uh, uh, these uh, joint venture joint activities and uh, at last i am thankful to invite me as well as my colleagues now see after completion of this The, my colleagues three colleagues will go to shigaon gotgodi where a, 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 a artist a great artist solvaknor has created a uh, village i requested my colleagues study it and come back with proposal we shall create one tribal village in our university
a tribal village will be uh, you know invented in our initiative where uh, uh, all uh, you know around uh, 80 tribes major tribes of india uh, their village their uh, culture women men will be focused they will be uh, you know uh, shown that anybody can come and see yes these are the major tribes of uh, uh, india dr donor i must be thankful to you and uh, uh, your colleagues uh, my friends i am overwhelmed because you know this southern part of uh, india has its own tribal history and heritage which has never thought of never written we are going to write with the help of you for tribal to writing or uh, thinking about tribes not necessarily he or she should be tribe any kid, anybody can write anybody can research anybody can do work as being a kannadiga i am professor of hindi professor shiv prakash being a kannadiga he is a uh, major his, uh, writer in hindi as well as in uh, no no in in kannada as well as in english <coughs> thank you very much very kind of you good so respected uh,